Have we discussed buying underwear that is not just Fruit of the Loom underwear? No. No? Because I, I don't know what, what is in the underwear maker's minds, but it's embarrassing. It's like they don't want guys to buy their product. I, I, I've, I've kind of gotten past the point that I want to buy Fruit of the Loom underwear. I don't know. I kind of want to step up a little notch and maybe buy some of the Calvin Klein underwear. Um, some of the, what? Just it, it's <laughs> it's better made. Let me. I'll tell you where I'm going. It's just be, it's made better. It's not just like the stupid rubber bands around your legs and waistband that that Fruit of the Loom has. Wait, boxer briefs? You want to start buying? Well, the, yeah, boxer briefs, things like that. But just like like name brand. Kind of uh, underwear that's made of thicker material. It's nicer. And I gotta, yeah, I, I gotta yeah. step in. Uh -huh. I, I mean, yeah, I, honestly, yeah. logically, that makes sense. Uh -huh. and, and to the people out there that are new to the show right. and they don't really know you, they're like, yeah, this sounds very normal. Sure. I, I've known you for a long time, and and the, you're you're just not the same person. <laughs> what? I, <laughs> what is going on in your head? I'm just treating myself to a few of the nicer things in life. Do you realize this is the 38th day in a row that you haven't worn the same shirt? I, I didn't... I wasn't we're, counting. We're keeping track now. I wasn't counting, but <laughs> thank you. So you're shopping for some silk Versace boxers and... Well, no, not silk. It's cotton. But if you notice, the material's thicker. Mm -hmm. It's more comfortable. And uh, they don't stretch out around the legs and stuff. It's not It's not the underwear you wore when you were six years old. You know what I mean? You kind of move up a little bit. Right. But these things are almost impossible to shop for. You go to the store. They don't come in little, like, plastic bags. They come in, in boxes. And there's a couple or three in the box. But have you looked at the pictures on the boxes? Yes. No. It, you walk into the underwear section, and now I want to buy the underwear, but I don't want to peruse through gay pornography. It is like you are looking at the covers of gay porn DVDs. It, you can't, and you're looking at them. You're a man standing there with your arms crossed looking at these guys in their underwear with armadillos shoved down the front of them. With huge hogs. Giant <laughs> hogs poking through these underwear, and that's all they're wearing. Poking and wanting. Hand and washboard <laughs> abs. Oh, straining is a word I would choose. Biceps. Straining. Smile. They're smiling at you and kind of winking. All they want to do is just breathe. <laughs> it is. You don't want to look. You don't want to shop. So you're looking at them, and now you got to go, maybe these. And you're thinking, why am I... Going from this to this. What makes this box better? Is the guy cuter on the box? Because <laughs> he has that look of just wanting on his it, face. It is. It's this. this it's pornography. <laughs> it's homosexual porn. That's really fun. On the boxes. And I just want to buy the goddamn underwear. But it, it makes it impossible. To, you, so now you're walking to the register holding five boxes of nude men. And you put it on the counter, and there they are, staring back at you. Thanks for the purchase. I, I, I bought underpants from The Gap recently, and yeah. I, I took them home, and it looked okay on the thing, like you're, you're talking. Mm -hmm. Then I, 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 I put them on, and then proceeded to throw them away. Well, really? Yeah, because the ones I got from The Gap make me look like I have one of those European bathing suits on. <laughs> I don't know what like the hell happened. Like a Speedo? Not a Speedo. It's like, it kind of like... It's almost like hot pants for guys. Yeah. The, only, the only way I could explain it, it's like it's like to here, and it didn't look like that on Did the. Did it look like a bikini? Packaging. Not a bottom bikini. with it's a like, cut like that. It's or? like the hot pants the girls wear, but just picture it a little looser, so it, it would would look oh, I guess okay there, on a guy. I there's don't know. real hot underwear that chicks wear. It's, Boy shorts. Yeah, those short things yep. with the frills on the bottom and yep. around the top. That is like the hottest fucking underwear that girls can wear. The little short thing. I love those boy shorts. Isn't that great? Oh, oh, fantastic. Yeah. So when your chick is buying your underwear, that's fine. She could go up. There's the guy with the pecs and the abs and the muscles and the wanting look and the perfect hair and the huge goddamn python shoved down the front of his Calvin Kleins. But to have to look at this, because you can't just walk up, grab it, and walk up to the register. 
You have to stand in front of this huge display of nude men and look at them. Mm -hmm. What's the size on this one? Hmm. Maybe this style. You go, uh, have you gone into Abercrombie and Fitch lately? No. With the big blown up posters of, of, uh, boys topless? God! Why are we exposed to this? What is going? I just want a pair of jeans. You just want some clothes, and you gotta look at at gay pornography. You're right. There's something going on with Abercrombie and Fitch because it's mostly yeah. topless boys and in, in, uh, the big posters on the walls. Mm. Every Not once in a while, to be found. Every <laughs> once in a while, they throw a, a, a girl at you. But in general, it's it's these like I don't know. I guess yeah. they're supposed to be 16, 17 year old boys, Ooh. topless. <laughs> What the? Oh fuck? dear! Oh dear! What the? Who the? What the? You will be molested. Hey, yes. Craig, what's up? Hey, what's going on, fellas? Hey. Hey, um, no, I agree with Anthony, man. I'm a, I'm a personal trainer. I'm big boy. I'm like 6'1", 220, very athletic. And I got to buy those uh, Calvin Klein ones, and it's terribly uncomfortable just going in there, staring at nude men, trying to pick up some draws. Just yeah, it makes you yearn for the day of just grabbing that Fruit of the Loom and that plastic bag at a Dwayne Reed or something. Yeah, and just, you know, wear that. You don't want to stand in front of a hundred boxes with n nude men on them. It's men it's in their underwear with huge hogs, and, and you got to stand there and pick and choose. Yeah, and, and you feel like... You know, all right, what style should I get? Should I get the one that's cut this way or that way? And the only way you have to make that decision is to look at the guy. Well, it looks hot on him. <laughs> you know what? I, you don't want to have to be put in the position where you're looking and deciding what underwear you want because it looks hot on that man. No. Just put a picture of the underwear on there. You ever seen The Invisible Man? You ever seen an Invisible Man movie? Yes, oh, and, and, a movie. I'm and, like, how can you see the Invisible Man? Of course like, not. I, I saw a hat once. Silly. <laughs> yeah, I saw a hat just <laughs> floating by. Glasses and gauze. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, yeah, you know, he can walk around in his underwear. But all you see oh, is the underwear. In the snow once. Jesus. That's it. I've seen him. He produces this radio show. <laughs> 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 hey, yo, uh, quick question That's about, what I uh, want to see on the box. Just the underwear. Oh, hold on, bro. What? Just the underwear as if the invisible man was wearing it. All right. Put it on there and just have it take out the person. So now you're looking at the underwear itself, not on a guy. No guy is, is going in and buying it because the, the guy looked good on the package. Have women wearing the goddamn men's underwear. How about that? But then then I'd look and go, ooh. You'd feel gay then. Then you, I feel like a fag buying these because they're on chicks. No, but it's the chick wearing men's underwear, you know. So it's like, all right, I see what style it is, how it's cut, how far down the leg it comes, things like that. But it also is a pleasure to look at. Sure and is. And you could take it home and save the box to Jack <laughs> to. There you go, Craig. What's up again? Hey, wh one last thing. You guys mentioned Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah. I've never been in that store because one, the pictures are appalling, but two. That just seems like the whitest white guy store. Well, well, are you a white white guy? Um, by no means. <laughs> Were you gonna go out and buy some FUBU? <laughs> oh, of course not. But I mean, like that store. I mean, I don't know. Everybody looks the same in that store. Like you guys were hinting yesterday. Oh, you you uh, shop at Banana Republic, don't you? Uh, actually, kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. you know, like nah. I said, I'm, I'm a big guy, so it's hard to find clothes that fit. I'll, I'll, you're right about Abercrombie and Fitch. I'll take a peek. They got some stuff that other other people aren't really uh, wearing. That's mm -hmm. that's what I go for, I guess. All, all right, right. I was punching up. All right, Craig. Party rock. We got to go back to. Uh, all right, yeah, we'll do this. Mark from Queens, what's up? Are you guys insane? I think you guys are absolutely nuts. And this whole Howard Hughes. Uh, lifestyle's gone to your head. What happened to just going into Target, ripping off a three-pack of fucking Fruit of the Loom, and just walking out the door? I got to disagree with you, dude. You go and Fitch and the Gap to buy underwear, and you go into Target, one, two, three, you're done. That's oh, it. my God, let me tell you something. I mean, going to the Gap for underwear, it gets a lot worse than that. I mean, you you go, uh, you do like the Ralph Lauren or the Perry Ellis, or, yep. and that's that that underwear is way, way up there. Yep. I mean, the Four Gap... words, gentlemen, Haynes... It's fruit of no, the I know it's what. Funny. See, what I'm saying was, I just wanted to step up uh, a, a notch as far as my underwear went. I didn't like fruit of the looms. 
The material's very thin. The elastic isn't very good. I just wanted a few pairs of comfy, thick, uh, cottony underwear. Why not? Why not put some of your most valuable items that you own, why, your cock and balls, into something a little nicer? Why are you spending so much time on underwear shopping? You know you're only going to wear it once. I didn't, <laughs> and then throw them away. <laughs> then I incinerate them. Look, Jimmy's dirty, nodding. Dirty, dirty underwear. No. I, I wear I, I I you know they get washed and I wear them again. Yeah, sure you do. But and it's not like <laughs> Dude, you threw away a couch because it had a booger on it. Yes, it did. You know did. what's going on in your underwear? Uh, not not people wiping their boogers in there. It's my own stuff going on in there, and they get washed. That's all I'm saying. But do they really get washed? Of course they do. <laughs> they get bleached. The bleach gets in there and washes all the dirt away. Washes all the dirty memories. Uh, all the dirty <laughs> things. <laughs> Anthony needs everything bleached now. It's got to be bleached. He's bleaching his hands. No, uh, look, I'm not saying all I wear. I'm wearing Fruit of the Looms right now. I'm not saying all I wear are these underwear. But occasionally, especially if you're, you're maybe going out and dressed nicely, you want to complete the whole thing with some very nice underwear. I got to... Go ahead, Jimmy. Fruit of the Looms are awful, and people have to start realizing... Thank you, Jimmy. I'm so, they look like diapers, and I'm sorry, but you have to understand, folks, we're fancy people. Get used to it. We're fancy <laughs> people. Fancy. <laughs> fancy people. What a lame word. <laughs> I got to tell you something. I am fancy. I thought this was like just a throwaway <laughs> subject. The phones yeah. have exploded. Because I've hit a nerve. They've absolutely exploded. Let's go to Christine on Long Island. Christine? Hi, guys. I want to say you guys are complaining because for, what, maybe two years you have to look at half-naked men in advertising when women have been doing it for, like, 30? Oh, you think I want to look at a woman bouncing around in a bikini to a soda? <laughs> yeah, but that's hot, and, and all girls have that girls lesbian are, thing right. in them. Right. Girls don't mind as much looking at nude or semi-nude girls. I that's totally for sure. agree with Anthony. There's something going on with you girls. You guys could get naked together. You could, ki you, yeah, yeah, you kiss your girlfriends when you're out right. there drinking and stuff. And you know, if you barely ever kiss. I'm to a lesbian. I've never kissed my girlfriend because we're together. I'm just like to dance with a girl, or to hang out with a girl. But I guess this is the new trend, though, in uh, <laughs> advertising, is to get to uh, get the guys. Uh, uh, with less clothes on. Yeah. Yeah. And well, that's supposed to sell to guys? Well, it's trying to show guys, like, you'll look like this in this, which is unrealistic. It is. No. First of all, you got to be delusional to think you can ever attain that look. It, they're models. They're paid huge amounts of money to look like that. And it's genetics and and uh, the gay lifestyle and the gym. You want to see someone that looks hot in underpants, get a copy of Yellow Discipline. That's right. There you go. <laughs> now you're talking the average Joe. I was at that photo shoot. I've never laughed harder. Really wasn't there was this really, really hot photographer. Yeah, put that on the Calvin Klein box. Oh, my God. This really hot photographer that had all these great ideas for Jim Norton's Yellow Discipline CD, Yellow mm -hmm. Roses, and, and got him like a... Kind of like a James Bond type, like uh, sports Ooh. coat suit to wear, nice. and yeah, and uh, and so Jimmy goes back and behind the curtain to change, and he comes walking out with just his underpants on, pulled as high as he <laughs> possibly can, his gut at the time just awful, just oh. overtaking all the underwear, so all that's just sticking out. Of course, and he's basically going, "I'm ready. <laughs> Here's ready. what I want to do." <laughs> <laughs> and the picture's up on. Uh, I guess it's up on your websites, right? Somewhere, yeah. Yeah, There's go to eataabullet.com. Or I don't know really how funny. young, young, almost completely nude men are selling to other men. How the average guy that wants to walk in and get dressed, buy some clothes, is is making a decision based on these nude men. That's so. Uh, you, I don't get it. You nailed it. It's funny, and you have to deal with it now. Matt from Jersey, what's up? How's it going, guys? Hey. I, I just wanted to say, you know, Opie, you're right about Abercrombie. Not only is it the guys on the wall that are shirtless, but then you get the stuff from the store, and the bag they give you usually has two shirtless guys playing volleyball with each other, and then you got to walk <laughs> yeah. through the mall. Yeah. You naked guys on the bag. <laughs> it's awful, and you, you catch, like, a glimpse of yourself in the mirror. Oh, my have, like, God. I forgot about the bag. Now yeah. you have to walk 
through the mall yeah. with the bag with gay porn on it. That's hilarious. You can't even put it in the bag and get away. Yeah, because do those two guys really want to be playing volleyball? Yeah. yeah. Running into the ocean with a surfboard, and then you got to look like that as you walk through the mall. You should just be walking around with a bag with a picture of a guy sucking another man's <laughs> cock on it. Yeah, <laughs> just did some shopping. <laughs> well, did you see the, the new bag they have now where they, there's, not, there's not two guys anymore, there's only one, and he's walking out of St. Vincent's with a tear on his face? <laughs> You're just an awful human being. You really are. <laughs> oh, Christ. Let's go to Rooster, the trucker. Rooster. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, good. Hey, first of all, I'd like to say uh, it's so refreshing having uh, you guys on the air. It, Howard, man, cow, they suck. Anyway, uh, it's bad enough going into a mall and seeing uh, pictures of guys. But uh, I was in a mall in Chicago. And they have half nude live models on the floor, men really? and women. Yeah. Mm, that's what yeah. you need. That's going to sell. It, it really sucks when you walk with your lady past some guy standing right there with his underwear hanging out. You know, I know nothing about marketing or anything like this, but as far as uh, men's underwear goes, I bet you they would sell a lot more if they made these boxes less provocative with the, uh, the men on them. I bet, because there are guys. Believe me, there are guys that will not buy them because they will not walk up to that 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 display and pick up a box with this naked guy on it and with his huge hog in his underwear. There are guys that will not do it just for that reason. Well, someone is. Uh, oh, that was a good point. Someone was saying that they hung up that they're they're actually marketing this stuff uh, for the girlfriends and the wives. Is that what it is? Because maybe they're the ones doing a lot of the shopping. Doing the shopping. Yeah. Well, I must say that uh, I, I have my girlfriend started... with me, and she's the one. I made her take the boxes of underwear off the shelf and bring them up to the register. I did not want to hold these and carry them around the store. That's a good point. I bet you that's what they're going for. The girls are out there doing all the shopping and taking care How of How much men. underwear do the girls buy for men? Like, is it more? Are more girls buying their underwear for men, or do more men buy their own underwear? Dude, because that, that, then that would make sense. I only started buying clothes for myself two years ago. You still? <laughs> I know, me, so, me too. So, you know, that that person might be onto something there. Scott from Jersey, what's up? My mother would buy me the underwear. Oh, two seconds, Scott. My mother would buy me uh, the designer underwear for Christmas. Right. So I would open up the present at Grandma's house when we all get together on Christmas Eve, and it was embarrassing there, too, because I open it up, and I'm like, oh, and i got to pick up this box. There's a guy with a huge hog on right. it, and like... Thanks, Mom. Yeah, Christmas. Thanks for the man with the huge hog picture. Anthony, show everyone what you got. I got this picture. Ka-ching, of... ka-ching, ka-ching. Yeah, <laughs> gay pornography. <laughs> Mommy got me gay pornography. Scott from Jersey, what's up? Hey, guys. Uh, for about six months between uh, high school and college, I actually was a uh, I was an underwear model for uh, J. Crew. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, great. Thanks. Uh, now, you guys got to be think about one of these photo shoots. Now, when you're talking about the armadillo in the front of the guy's pants, first of all, if you think about what you look like when you're just wearing underwear, it doesn't look quite as round. I mean, there's some hills and valleys in there. So they actually place little pieces in there to make it perfectly round. Not a full piece, but... So you got the uh, G.I. Joe or the Ken doll kind exactly. of bulge going, but no real distinction of balls or... What is it, like some that. kind of like a like a cup almost? No, it's like an epoxy. Like, it's like a... It's, so it's perfectly rounded, but it's not, like, hard. It's almost like a gift because it's got to look a little like, like skin. And then think about me. I'm standing there, and you got this guy who's undoubtedly gay who's shoving this stuff around my junk, Ooh. holding around. I mean, because I don't do it myself. They have to mold <laughs> it perfectly like, like they were doing a sculpture. Ooh. It's obscene. Ooh. But it's, you know, yeah, it's so you guys buy it. But it is marketed towards girls. It's not marketed towards guys. I'm heterosexual male. I like to say that on the air. <laughs> <laughs> you, you better say that if you're yeah, discussing. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, All right, Scott, good. thank you. Punch it out. Bye. A lot of times I'll go to the store like Abercrombie or something like that, and I'll see the clothes, the guys with those shirts, and I think mm -hmm. like I want to look like that, like because the girls will like me better. Sure. Because I kind of I want to look like Ashton. <laughs> Let's say hi to. You Derek. want that that body without the shirt? You want to play volleyball? I want the hair like that and stuff. It's yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Derek from Kentucky, what's up? What's up, man? Hey. Hey, Ope, I gotta call you out on something. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, let's see. You've been getting on Ant about uh shopping. 
mm-hmm. buying all these nice clothes because he's changing. Mm-hmm. What's up with you shopping at the Gap for underwear all of a sudden? Are you going here to look at the gay guys or what the hell is going on? Um, no, I, I take a peek at the Gap every once in a while. I needed some underwear. I went over there. Honestly, I don't remember seeing any of these uh, pictures that uh, Anthony is discussing in, at the Gap. It, uh, it, the might, gap. it might be there. I'm not. I'm not sure, too. but. I deny it too. No, I, you can see him anywhere, dude. You can see it in Macy's. It's a freaking Macy's. You go in there and they have the underwear section, and they're just loaded with these boxes. And every designer box has the 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 gay guy with the huge hog. Oh. <laughs> every amazing. single I'm one. I'm amazing that Anthony knows where all these gay guys hang out at. Well, say that again. I find it kind of amazing that Ant seems to know where all these gay guys hang out at. I'm not saying gay guys hang out. I say the gay guys on the boxes. All right, Derek. Exactly. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Jackass. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. People out there are going to have to start getting used to it. <coughs> this is a ritzy operation. Ritzy. We're ritzy? And we like to be fancy. <laughs> That's right. You're dealing with fancy people ooh. here. Ugh, why'd you change the picture? I just went, ooh. Go back. Nice. There you go. Nice. That's underwear. Very nice. Look at that. Nice. Young lady. Matching bra and panties. Little, yeah. Nice little blue. Yeah, click the next one. Very, nice. very frilly. Nice. Now go forward. Jesus, Eric, you have no idea how to oh. do a radio bit, do you? And then we were going to scream. Ooh, no, that no. guy's got a leopard tattoo Holy coming shit. out of his underwear. Travis from Oklahoma City. Ugh. Hey, man, I just want to know why the first caller on this subject was calling in to talk about all this homoerotic stuff being offensive, but he described his body type. He might as well have just put male for male before that. Mm. Punching out. All right, wait, think, wait, wait. I think we have exhausted this subject all of a sudden. Yeah. That was a good call. We're going to try Oklahoma City again. We're going to go to Mark. Mark, what's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey, man. We're getting a lot of calls from Oklahoma City. What's that yeah. about? Yeah, like it. Oh, us, us hicks like y'all, man. We're waiting for Jimmy to come down here and do his show. Yeah. I'd like to eventually get out to the Midwest. Yeah, we need well, this show to grow just a little bit more, and then, and then uh, there's going to be a lot of things open up, opening up for us. You like barbecue, Jimmy. We'll take you to a good place and get you stuff full of it. Oh, yeah. thank you, mister. Uh, anyhow, uh, I had a theory of going back a little bit about how uh, Anthony's turning into Howard Hughes. You remember that movie Creep Show? Yes. You remember the very last part of it, the guy that was up in the apartment that was like a real germaphobe? What's the matter, Mr. Kids? Pratt? Bugs got your tongue? <laughs> so yeah. Anthony, Anthony, you're starting to turn that way Bugs. a little bit. I just wonder if you guys have one of those old vacuum things up there in your studio. Where the tissues get sucked yeah. down? <laughs> that was a great one, man. The guy was all paranoid of bugs and, and bacteria, and he lived in this uh, antiseptic environment in his apartment, yeah. and um, the cockroaches came and got him. And Anthony's just appreciating and, and enjoying his life these days. That's it. It's a little strange for us as we look on, but uh, I think he's just enjoying himself not and, e- you know and appreciating. Uh, not even. Not even that, that deep. It's I still do exactly the same stuff I used to do. I just, for some reason... You dress uh, very nice. I try to dress yeah. for a morning show. I have a theory also. <laughs> I, what, what can I say? I don't know. I have a theory for Opie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you remember a few months ago... You were talking about going into some restaurants. I guess they might have been mafia-related or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you said you had this stalker girl that had a car wreck. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you put out a contract for somebody <laughs> to cut her brakes or something? <laughs> have a good one, guys. All right, very good. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, why don't we move on, I guess. Oklahoma. Yeah. And what's next? Taking Opie to the Hamptons. Mm. Ooh. Abercrombie is for the girls in the store. Uh, did it all start on Rodeo Drive for Anthony? No. Uh, brother-in-law is gay, and he collects the boxes? Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, Tail Rider from WackBag.com. What's up, buddy? What's up, brothers? Is this... uh, my brother-in-law is a shit dick. And... <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey. Your brother-in-law? Brother-in-law. Yeah. Shit brother-in-law dick. dick. All right, hold on. Let's start with that. How is that pot? Uh, oh, oh, uh, no. wait, brother-in-law, so he's married to your sister? No, no he's married to the to gay guy's sister. Right, he married the sister of the gay guy. Your wife's brother is a mo. Wait, Thank you're... you, Jimmy. Oh, okay, Jesus. His wife's brother. Nice, but, uh, nice buzz, collect... though. Him and his boys, man, they collect that fucking shit. They, they, they got the boxes, they keep the boxes around, they got the advertisements. It's like jerking material for them or something. Just plastered I mean, I on the wall. 
cut them all out and put them up on your wall. Make a collage. Ooh, a collage. That, that is, it's just sickening, man. Except for the one guy on the Calvin's box. He's, like, cool to have around. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tail Rider. I talk Later to him boy. and give him advice. <laughs> Phone's Here's what you got to do, Jimmy. Right. I went to Abercrombie & Fitch, Fifth Avenue, brand new superstore. Mm -hmm. like, I, I like uh, some of the uh, Abercrombie & Fitch stuff every once in a while. Sure. Sure. And we're walking around uh, the city mm -hmm. over the weekend, me and Lindsay... And a few other people, and all the girls. And well, there was a, there was <laughs> there, there were a few girls in in my posse. Uh -huh. Did you have a hat box? Including you were walking my, down the street, <laughs> including my girlfriend. And uh, all of a sudden, I, I see a big commotion outside the Abercrombie and Fitch store. Oh, a commotion! Like, Must well, have been a sale. <laughs> well, that's what you would think. But they, I guess it was the grand opening of Abercrombie and Fitch, I right? Maybe they were giving away free boxes of Lean on Me. <laughs> and then I get closer and I see all the women. They got their cameras out. Uh oh. They got their cameras out. Uh oh. Here comes a B movie star. Dude, <laughs> you're walking into the lobby of, or whatever you call it, the opening of uh, the Abercrombie and Fitch store there, right? Yeah. And they got uh, two of the f the fucking male models there for the grand opening. That's it, just two models. With like no shirts on, they have eight packs. Ooh, this sounds exciting! Give me a bowl of lean on me and tell me all about it. I want a figure like that. <laughs> they have eight packs. That they're like the new models for Abercrombie and Fitch. So the girls are all losing their fucking minds taking pictures with the. Mm -hmm. You can see their panties getting moist right in front a of you. Dance just, they're just losing yeah. their minds. And then I walk into the fucking store like, oh great! And then I'm trying on clothes and and my one pack. <laughs> but <it's> <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just trying to keep up. One I'm, big I'm, lumpy I'm, mushy ab. Just like just like little teenage girls out there, I'm influenced by advertising. <laughs> yeah, but trying to keep up at this point, trying to keep up with that. These guys you need a time machine. <laughs> you should have <laughs> saw these ladies. <laughs> Those models are fucking. Nine, what are they? Twenty three. <laughs> Nah, I mean, obviously, I'm just kidding, but I mean, just to just to see these like older women just losing their fucking minds, taking getting their pictures taken with these stupid models. All right, uh, one more. Oh, Wade, you wanted to say something? I cut you off. I'm sorry. No, it's all right, man. I'm sorry. Hey, That's Bill, my deal. Look, man, that new Abercrombie and Fitch shirt he's wearing is it cut a little low? Can it show his belly button? And if you look under the console, can you see leg warmers on him? <laughs> I don't have <laughs> leg warmers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, enough. He actually has on his oversized boyfriend shirt. <laughs> it's oversized? <laughs> I was going to go medium. Now, now I'm paranoid. Is it oversized? No, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just going with the with the whole gay bash. Route. That's the look. That's what we started with, and I'm going no with idea. it. All right. I have no idea. we got to go on our shopping spree today, and I, I, I have this no Greg idea. Greg Brady necklace. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you, have, do you have beads leading into your bedroom instead of a door? <laughs> What's wrong with my necklace? <laughs> oh, God. I've been wearing these necklaces for many years, Bill. Hey, we um, can't all look as cool as you in that ACDC t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a tiki. It's a necklace. Uh oh Check out the honey. Oh, why Dude. is it all red? Dude, why is your ass you red? have a baboon ass. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. Oh, my what God, happened? you've been fucked in the ass. No, I haven't. Somebody <laughs> fucked him. What was his name? It would be, uh, oh. by the way, I was sitting. Yeah, no, dude. No, dude. Your ass. Look, can I take a picture and I show you? I would want nothing fast. You're like Ed Norton crying on oh the gurney in front of the black guy. That is fucking disturbing, dude. It is <laughs> so red. See, look how close he's getting with the camera. Go ahead, faggot. Click. What did you do? I can't. Who spanked? You. Hold on, Jesus Christ! Someone spanky spanked you. Nobody spanked me. All right, what's the problem with his ass? Jimmy's there, getting Bob. his good camera. Yeah, of course. Take it quickly, billboard. Get this Before quickly. Photograph fades. my asshole. Hang on there, fucking dirtball. Get turn this way, you. <laughs> yeah, turn. Oh God, he's bending over a little. Good one. Why is your ass like mandrel red? Oh, dude, first of all, you have fucking a baby curl in your ass. Last time I saw that ass, oh. it was sitting on my windshield at Lion Country Safari. <laughs> Out in California. I'll tell you why my ass. Drive through safari. And then you pulled my windshield wiper off and shit on my car. The reason my ass is and red. Went, went and beat another alpha male up. With my antenna. The reason it's red is because when I was sitting here. Yeah. Let me show you. All right. Give us a little show. Hold on. It's like red, red. Yeah, it is. It, 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 it's it, monkey ass red. Yeah, my ass is immediate. Uh, 
very clean, and, and here's why. Because of the way I was sitting, mm-hmm. like this, yeah. up like this, my underwear was digging into my crack. You're that press. sensitive where just sitting a certain way will turn your ass mandrel red. Yeah, it's just the way I was sitting. Yeah, but do, do you have underwear on? Yeah, always. But it just was like... Boxers, material. right? Yeah. You don't wear the tidy whities no, Why that. would I? The diapers. I wear tidy Diapers, yeah. He calls them fucking diapers. I would. I don't know. I, I don't do like. You? I don't like having dri- maybe a drip after you take a leak run down at my fucking ankle. Of course not. You want it collected in the fucking smooth pampers like like mother used to do. <laughs> like mother. Are you tiny whiteys? Of course he Ed is. Wears European underwear. I yes. think. No, no I don't. don't. And, 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 and when Ansky wears underwear, he looks like a refugee. <laughs> I. He has a speedo on. He has thin no fat speedo. <laughs> he has like a little fat belly. I wear your standard so, brief hair hanging out the side. He wears no man sandals. Hair. Mandel spider box. <laughs> oh, so you pull your fucking pants up and a big clump of materials up by your nutsack See, all I'm, day? I'm, I'm sitting like Get this. Get the fuck out of here with your boxes. This is the way I was sitting before talking about my boxes, jeans. You right? boxer briefs. Do you, wear, you, wear, you wear European Speedo underwear? No, well, where did that you come just from? You me. You did. The I blue. said I are wear regular briefs. How short are they on the side? They how, are your standard. How short on the Bob, side? let's see your underwear. Get your standard Fruit of the Looms. How short on the side? That's what they are. That's what they are. Only their Hanes. I wear Hanes fucking briefs. That's it. Let's see your underwear. Nice cock. I can't well, see why them. are they gray? Why are you ill? Don't fix oh, yeah, your dick. The, Let me see. They Look at the down. size <laughs> of those. <laughs> you got, those, you got those are some big <laughs> underwear. Yeah, your pants is huge. <laughs> I should talk though. I shove it like the children's oh, section for mine. You just turned into a black lady. <laughs> your underpants is huge. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> just, <laughs> let me tell you something. We'll be right back on VH1 with these new videos. Hope trying to get whoopies, listeners. Your underpants is huge. It's huge. You'd be huge. Wow. Just because you pour syrup on it don't make it a pancake <laughs> motherfucker those are big those look like underwear like when you're stuck in traffic and look at the side of the road and they're kind of laying there uh. in the gutter somewhere just <laughs> big pair of That's gray right. underwear well, I, I, I can't go swimming in my underwear homo <laughs> I don't have fucking I don't wear speedos you do. rocky beach in they're Italy just like that only five <laughs> sizes fuck. smaller you got a fucking little in Italy fucking blue with a, a red stripe down the side <laughs> I like rock diving they, they match your bag <laughs> Fucking faggot! You think he has like man sandals too? Open, yeah. open mandals. Yeah. He has a he has a little fag bag. You are describing <laughs> things yeah, I would never and fucking do. He's so know. European. Yeah. He actually has clips yeah. to pull his skin yeah. forward so he looks uncircumcised. <laughs> he has a fucking a, a towel with a pillow attached to it, and he rubs Gouda cheese on the helmet just so it smells authentic. <laughs> you go to the beach with a hookah, you fucking little faggot. I wear standard Hanes. Briefs. They're are they awful. white? They are the white, regular size. Are no, awful. up the side. I do have uh, uh, like like Calvin Klein ones <laughs> and uh, other that's what, ones. That's what we're talking about. There, oh, but oh, no, oh, but they're the same thing. They're, just, no they're just briefs. Do you talk like an Italian accent when you're oh, at the beach? They're very nice. Like put them on hangers. <laughs> no, they're very nice. Nice material. Do you have a little cell phone, little ho- like wear pocket fucking, on your underwear? No. <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to wear fucking boxers and have material bunched up your ass when you pull your pants up. I, I, and then what do you do? you got to reach down and pull the leg back down to your fucking on. knee? I, ha- I have deodorant. I put deodorant on my balls. <laughs> All right. We weren't even going there. Yeah. That's all you know. Holy, I, holy shit, a bogey. What the hell? They flew out of nowhere. I know, but I just invented that, and it works. Yeah. You know what else works so you don't have to do that? How about some sit-ups? You know, I bet. That was, that was, that was I bet helpful. on the back. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bob. I bet on the back. It says like only apply to underarms. What is on your shirt? It's an angel with a machine gun. Jesus. Yeah, but then it has like like. Oh, it's diamonds. Does Those aren't diamonds. Those diamonds. are real diamonds. No, they're not. No, of course not. Apply. Not that kind. Roll on. Apply I don't spray. only to underarms. No, roll on. I do roll on. It, I and it probably says on the back, apply only to underarms. You under put it on arms. your bag? I put it on the sides of my bag and Ugh. on the bottom. And honest to God, it it's so you don't sweat. In I the, like a little high karate. You still sweat. <laughs> if my balls don't I smell, you do old English. Your, your oh. cologne has a wooden top. <laughs> 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 you, your cologne came with a your underwear. Old spice. <laughs> I like my dick to smell like a schooner. <laughs> <laughs> a canoe. <laughs> hey, I was thinking about ants uh, very recently because I went under, under pants shopping. Yeah, which again is impossible. And I was, when Anthony says it, under no, no, pants. Under pants. I was laughing so hard because man, he is so right. You can't buy underwear anymore unless you're buying 
Fruit of the Loom, like when you were a fucking kid, I wanted to step up a notch and get like Calvin Klein or some kind of like better material, yep. just like thicker material. But you can't do it unless your girlfriend's with you because you have to look at boxes of fucking guys with big bulges. Every box of this uh, uh, underwear is just guys, abs, fucking bi it's just true. big gay guys. Hard to shop when you're salivating. <laughs> 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 and and you don't want to go. You feel like awkward going to the counter with that. And what the fuck store is it? Banana Republic, where they give you a big bag with just oh, half Aber Abercrombie. Abercrombie. It's half naked guys on the bag that you now have to walk around the fucking mall with. You have to walk around Manhattan. Thank right. you very much. Right. <laughs> Who thought of that one? Oh, this is a good... I got a good idea for a bag. It's a... Get the one off your fucking nose first, and then design one for the store. Ooh. So, is your hairdo... Now, do you, on the sides of your panties, yeah. Anthony. Panties, yeah. Do you have okay. a little, like a little tag on the side of your panties? No. Is it like a one inch... Like, is it no. an inch on the side? No matter how much you want to fantasize about my fucking underwear having a, a being a, a, a string bikini. <laughs> like, I'm wearing a fucking thong. I just picture you like that. It is like exactly a... like yours, <laughs> only a smaller size. I just thought you'd be like, you know, like from like the Netherlands. Like, those kind of, <laughs> like, a, like a Dutch guy on the beach. It's not even underwear. It's more of a cock pouch. Yeah, Marvel it, bag. It's all yeah. hog. Yeah, it's all hog. <laughs> and he's all got, like, materials for his hog. His little wrinkled knees and no muscles. <laughs> There's nothing fucking... worse than going to the Caribbean or... Uh, a, a, a fucking cruise <laughs> where the guys jump in the pool and it's just he's wearing just a something covering his fucking a nut sack and, yeah he's rubbing, string up his ass he's got his kids with him no you can always tell a European too because they have no hair they really they have no hair on their legs no, study this they got no hair nothing All Americans right. we have All hair right. let's say hi to Glenn in Jersey Glenn what's up hey what's going on guys hey little Jimmy what's happening hey man uh just wanted to comment about going to the mall, walking past some of the stores. I think it's like Abercrombie and Finch, where they got the uh, guy model standing out in front, luring your girl to get into the store. But you don't get to see the same thing walking past uh, mm -hmm. Victoria's Secret. That's part of the homo culture. They got a Abercrombie store on uh, where is it now? Fifth Avenue here in New York City. Yeah, and they got male models. That have their genes, you know, pushed all the way down to the. Uh, I'll forget about to it. the region, and that's uh, that's what you see as you walk in the door. Yeah, it's like great. But if if you had women doing the same thing, there would be outrage all over the place. That's what I'm talking about. The homo culture is hot right now. Exactly. Hot women exactly. in advertising is is almost a no no at this point. <laughs> and I walk by that store. I do I, I do some shopping at Abercrombie. And, uh, Who do you? And it's amazing. You'll walk into the store on Fifth Avenue, and you got two or three <laughs> male models, and all these girls that are barely teenagers getting their pictures taken with, <laughs> with the models and stuff, thinking that it's the cutest thing and all. And then you go in, you buy a couple things, and they, and they put it in the, in the, the bag. I'm yeah. like, no thanks. I'll, I'll carry my own clothes out. Because you got to walk around with a bag with, with it's, these hunks on it. <laughs> He's a hunk. It's pretty much uh, gay porn on your bag. It all you absolutely wanted, is gay porn. All you wanted was some overpriced jeans with some holes in it, and next thing you know, you're walking around the city with this bag. There's some guy with his bedroom eyes and, and his hands behind his head slightly twisted at the waist, and you're carrying the bag down the sidewalk like, why am I carrying this? Yeah, he's laying in a corn... They're, they're, look, that, what is that? He's <laughs> laying in a cornfield. I, I don't need... You know, e Rock just pulled it up for from the oh. Abercrombie and Fitch site. There you go. I that's have, that's what. Jesus. I have a pair of their underwear. Got to deal with. I have one pair I bought on the road, and it's the bikini briefs. <laughs> and and why, Jimmy? Dude, I was on the road. I had no idea. I bought I bought a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch bikini briefs, and my fat stomach. I look like a toilet paper tube with a marshmallow shoved into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely unsexy in them. <laughs> It didn't do that to you? You didn't all of a sudden get uh, abs? and No, they look good on me. Pecs. The underwear looks really good on me if I wear like a shirt that hides the stomach. Like if you could just see like the ass and the leg part. Like my legs look good coming out of the bottom. But yeah. from the waist up, I should just be shot. Mm. Well, let's say hi to Rick in Nebraska. Rick, what's up? Oh, man. I don't, I don't get why they have to advertise that stuff in mail magazines. I mean, I kind of get the store. That's for like your lady's wishful thinking. But why would I open my magazine? I have to look at seven nail nude pictures of her cologne and underwear. Yeah, that's hey, true. Honey. Magazines. 
Oof, you thumb through magazines and, and again, the culture just slaps you right in the ass. <laughs> the culture of homo. <laughs> no offense, no offense. What happened? I don't know. How the hell did we get to, to this point? Uh, George in Jersey. George? Hi, good morning, gentlemen. How are you, sir? All right. Uh, quick story. My old boss was gay, and his fetish was fat guys. And it just so happens that me and my coworker are both fat, and we got harassed on a daily basis. A couple of big bears, are you? <laughs> show me your belly, and uh, you'll get to do less work. Ew. So show them, show them your belly, man. I'm all for less work. <laughs> I'm going to show Tom my belly. Hope, I'm going to hope for the best. Less work. Less work. It's not like you have to, you know. You know how some truck drivers are big? Yeah. He would sit out there on the forklift and watch, mm -hmm. and then he'd run to the bathroom as soon as they left. I don't Whoa. get it. It was Yeesh. awful. I, I would sounds it. I think I would have showed the belly for less work. Absolutely. That, 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 but that's my line right there. <laughs> that's as far as you go. That's as far as I go. <laughs> no oopsies, no short problem. shorts. But I'll show my belly real fast if it means an hour less work. Would you accept free gifts from him? Would I accept? What's the gift? Yeah, what's the gift? Is it like a, an Xbox or what? Sweatshirts, T-shirts, hats. Nah, that's not a great shield. gift, sir. Those those gifts suck. That's swag. It's not exactly a Jaguar. Who's <laughs> <laughs> a sweat right, jacket? Fellas, I'm punching out. Have a great day. All right. Yeah, what would you do if for, uh, like, a Jag or a nice car? <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> How far would you go? And I could buy my own Jag, but please. If your boss <laughs> is coming on to you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'd whip Tom in the office for a Jaguar. <laughs> I'd tie him up and spank him, and any fantasy he had, I'd act out for a jag. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Dave in Durham. Dave, what's up? Hey, guys. What's going on? What's going on, Dave? Hey, not much. Hey, uh, you know, uh, Jimmy was just talking about buying the uh, undies from Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, I feel you just feel kind of dirty walking into that store. I mean, there's nude guys everywhere on the walls, but last time I went in there, I bought a pair of pants or whatever. And they gave me this bag with this dude that was, you know, just ripped guy in his underpants, just like hanging out on the front of the bag. So I actually asked if they had any bags with chicks on them. Yeah, th there you go. And what do they say? Well, there was a girl behind the counter, and she's like, "Well, I don't know if we have any of those right now." I'm like, "Well, right I'm now." I'm really gay walking around with this bag. Can you just check and see if you get any bags with chicks on them? I end up. And, uh, go ahead. She laughed at me, but she actually got one. I end up walking mm. out of the store with my own clothes under my arm. Yep. And, no bag. And what's up you. with the music in uh, Abercrombie? You can't hear anyone. No. They come dancing up to you like, you need any help? What size Hi. are you? What? What size jean do you need? Uh, oh, I, God, I love this song. You have that in a 32 waist? What? A 32 waist. What? Oh, I need to stand music. How? Do you have any of these left? In a 32. Hello? Can you hear me? But, You're looking right at me. Then you find yourself kind of shuffling over to the uh, the changing area. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> With your purchases or potential purchases. And all the changing area is is like saloon doors that are about five <laughs> inches high. So you're naked with just like barely being covered. Your, your legs and the top of you is hanging out. I do feel vulnerable. I hate that. My little legs, you can see them. <laughs> My little legs. <laughs> My little legs are exposed, barely covering, you know. Now coming to the register, let's give a big hand to Randy. Randy <laughs> is coming to the register now to help you check out. Give him a big hand. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's awful. Yeah. I hate walking in those stores. Let's go to Corey. He used to work at uh, Abercrombie uh, in Ohio here. What's up, Corey? What's going on, buddy? Hey. Uh, I used to work at the home office, and uh, the CEO of, of uh, Abercrombie, he, uh, he's all, oh, oh, um, and... Uh, <laughs> he's all, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he, he's like 60 years old. His face is all cut up from plastic surgery, and he tries to dress like, like these 22-year-old dudes that he's trying to hit on at the home office. It's really messed up. Hmm. Interesting. Um, and, 
Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we should just take a break. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Corey. Thank you. It is. Uh, Thank new you, one. girl's name. Uh, Dan in Michigan, real fast. I, I can't let this one go by. Go ahead, Dan. Dan. Yeah, you're on. Holy crap. Talk. What's the matter with you? Dan. Michigan. Brother went to Abercrombie. You. You're, oh, you're right there. Oh, me? Hmm. Oh, and I heard him. He went like, hey, hey. Dan, you there? He doesn't know. He doesn't know that he's. It says, on the uh, air. brother went to Abercrombie. They said size 34 pants was fat. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go in there and get 34s. Maybe he'll you, call back. You big pig. And really fast, let's go to John in Maine. John, what's up? What's going on, guys? Hey. Uh, that was hilarious, by the way. But, uh, hey, I had a buddy who, uh, who got an insurance check and wanted to go out and, you know, change his wardrobe, get a bunch of new clothes. So he went to Abercrombie and Finch and. The music in there was so loud. He went up to the you know their front desk and said, "Hey, listen, I, I want to spend a ton of money in you guys' store, but could you please turn down the music?" And they said, "No, their policy is to keep the music incredibly loud, <laughs> incredibly, <laughs> incredibly loud." <laughs> Well, they do. Because <laughs> they don't want you to focus on your purchase. No. You just start buying everything. They want you distracted. <laughs> right. <laughs> Between the gay men on all the boxes and packages and bags and the loud music, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you're I don't know. All right. Take my credit card. It's <laughs> getting me out of here. I'm going to buy this. What do you mean I just paid for four leftists? <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> it's like a club. How did man. that happen? I thought this was a clothing store. What do you mean? No, I'm not going to try them on. I just put it, I just, I'll ring them up. I got to get out of well, here. The worker was just dancing by me. I didn't know that meant that I just got a lap dance from what them. What happens? This store is confusing me. <laughs> Why does my hurt <laughs> i don't even get that then you got the guys they're working on their abs in between refolding oh, the clothes yeah. you just feel like a complete zero when you walk into the joint they're doing curls with the <laughs> bars that have all the hangers on them <laughs> right <laughs> the clothes <laughs> you walk up you walk over with your little paunch hoping that you can look a little better in one of their shirts Ooh. you know i i bought a coat last year from abercrombie and uh fitch hold on why? <laughs> it's just, What's wrong with that? I can't even walk in that place. I, uh, Would you like something? Yeah, zip. I uh, I Help like a brother out. I like some of their clothes. I don't like the clothes with the logo on it. I like very simple. I'm not a logo guy. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, I'll grab a pair of jeans or a shirt or something in there. And last year, I bought a uh, winter coat that has to weigh. I don't even want to exaggerate here. I'm not even going to exaggerate. When I put it on, I think it adds 50 pounds. That's good. 50 pounds <laughs> to carry around? That's 50 pounds of warm goodness. And at the time, you know, it looked good on the rack. I'm like, yeah, I'll just buy that. That looks cool. But I didn't really inspect it. And the hood, because it's funny you just mentioned your hood. This hood has to be... <laughs> What am I doing? Trying to making, hug a fat person. Yes, making something the size of a manhole cover. <laughs> right, okay. That's how big my hood is. No joke. I try to put it on, and it's like this. Now what am I doing? Uh, uh, Ballet dancing. Yes, overhead. you're doing a pirouette. <laughs> With plenty of room, right? That's, yeah. how, that's what my hood looks like in this coat. Don't you have a pull string to pull it tight towards your face like like so, Kenny? Sort of, but then it gets all poofy. Like the now. See, yeah, watch. I'll put mine up. I'll put mine up. And see, here's where people make fun of. Yeah, that looks Look stupid. how giant it is. That looks it's stupid. Like a, it's as if I was a cone head yeah. with... It doesn't look that bad. No, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But it's very warm. It's a nice hazmat suit you're wearing. <laughs> right. When, when I pull the cords, though, I, I look like I have like Rasta... Barian hair underneath the thing. Oh, yeah. Because it's just so much, Big so much hood. cap, yeah. And it yeah. is true that I was offered a job at uh, Abercrombie and Fitch this at weekend. Abercrombie and Fitch? Yeah. Is it what Fitch? job? I don't know. They said, look, you know, it's Christmas season and... Uh, oh, they need people to fold shirts and say, may I help you? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, God. They actually came up to me and, and Lindsay. I, I think they were being polite by offering me a job as well. I, I do believe they had their eyes on her.
So on the real prime. Oh, they, they asked both of us? Yeah, but oh, I think okay. they were being polite. You'd have been fired after day one. Right. Yeah. And she would make uh, management. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what they were looking at right there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she fits the profile to work there. I'm not stupid enough to think I fit the profile to work at Abercrombie and Fitch. Why don't you take the gig? Now that I'm in my late 20s, I'm nice. I mean, they only hire, you know, high yeah. school kids and, yeah, you can get a and job. college kids. You can work at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I got a quick little thing to start off the radio show. Yes. I brought in a very innocent box today. Yes. Very innocent. I was running out of... Um, Cologne, cologne. And one of the colognes, one of the colognes I like is from Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, is it? Because when I buy their clothes, they, uh, I guess they like squirt it with cologne, so they get you hooked. You're like, yeah, I kind of like that smell. They do that, yeah. Oh yeah, man. Well, that's kind of a scam. So it's, uh, it's one of the colognes I, uh, I pick up from time to time. So my, my girl actually. Notice I was running low. She was out shopping, and she decided to get me a nice little, little bottle of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Cologne. Fierce, which I hold in my hand, and it's just been sitting on my desk. And I even told Anthony, I'm like, this is today's first bit, oh. and I bet you don't even know why. I couldn't fathom it's, it's the why that bit. is the first. Segment bit right. thing my to girl discuss on the show. Also said she can't stand you know Abercrombie and Fitch whatsoever anymore because as soon as you walk into the place there's like there's guys without shirts on. I mean wow. if, if you do that in any other establishment they would call the authorities. But you know for Abercrombie and Fitch it's just normal to have like topless guys as little girls are walking around like trying to get a dumb little shirt or skirt yeah for the summer. But anyway, she dealt with the uh, the club music, and here in New York, they now have like velvet ropes and like kind of a red carpet oh my because God. the store gets so crowded. They actually make what people they make people wait outside. <laughs> no thanks, I'm just uh, I'm just looking. They make people wait outside because it's so packed. As soon as you walk in the door, there's naked men everywhere. And there's club music going on so loud that you can't get anyone's attention. Do they understand this is a clothing store? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not, that's not a club. Well, there is something going out uh, going on out there in these uh, clothing stores where they hire people not to help you, the shopper. They hire people to just hang out. It's a hang now. To make it look like it's the place to be. Then that's the place to be. I guess. Because Isn't this great? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> some of these stores... If you attempt to ask one of these people for help, they get really annoyed. Because I guess that's not their job. Their job is to just hang. I don't know. Hey, this is great cologne. So, <laughs> <laughs> so my girl uh, dealt with the uh, the homoerotic club atmosphere to get me a, a nice bottle of cologne. I brought it in today. And Anthony, mm -hmm. I want you to open up the bottle. Why? To reveal the oh. first bit of the oh. Opie and Anthony show. Oh, no. Now, remember, this is uh, Abercrombie and Fitch, Fierce Cologne. It's a it's a man's cologne and a smell I enjoy. All righty. Innocent enough. It's Fitch. just a, a very boring. A box of Fierce Cologne. Very boring gray box of cologne, right? Uh, open up the top. Open up that bad boy. It smells Looks, good, right? Yeah, it just has a regular little silver uh, top here as I open the box up and I pull it out. What? what Top came off. Oh, all right. I, I didn't. Okay, there we go. I didn't booby trap. Yeah. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Right. Right. Oh, what the <laughs> hell is going What day is today? Oh, Wednesday, on. April 2nd, 2008. I officially announce I am done with Abercrombie and Fitch. Is there any reason to have a, a nude man on the inside, inside of the, the bottle? Cologne bottle. It's pretty much. Uh, a, a man from his neck to, I mean, really right there, right, right uh, to his lower abdomen, where if they go any lower, you're seeing junk. So then my my girl is, uh, we're looking at this bottle, and like, did you pick me up like a, 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 a chick cologne? Because why would they want, why would a guy want that? Exactly. That, that's why? what I say all the time about the underwear that they sell and everything else. They put these guys on there. But that's got to, the underwear is one thing. Because right. you, you throw you throw the box away and the, 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 the guy's gone. Right. But that has got to sit 
It's in your bathroom. Yeah, for, and, and, and for uh, the people uh, out there, it's it. You know, obviously the cologne uh, bottle is see through, and on and the inside, on the back <laughs> wall of the cologne bottle, is a is basically a nude man. Yeah, I mean he's he's he looks terrific, and he knows how to do core exercises. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <had> great abs, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, or, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little jealous that I can't get my body down to this uh, this size anymore. He's probably twenty. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, I, I count one, two, three, four, five. I, I, I lose count of ten abs. <laughs> ten. ten. He's got a ten pack. I, I think he has a ten pack. Why? Yeah, what the hell? Explain to me why. There's no guy, unless you're really uh, into the uh, homosexual lifestyle, right. that would want that. Staring at you every morning when when you go to put on your your cologne. Yeah, in my bathroom, I got my colognes all lined up, and now I got this one to add to the uh, you know the group of colognes, and it's a it's a nude man. Uh, Why? Why the homoerotic crap? I just want a pair of ripped jeans and a cologne that smells nice, and maybe some type of rugby uh, shirt. You know, there's a a picture of a boat on Old Spice. <laughs> right. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry. Nothing, uh, nothing shady about a little boat. My my girl just openly laughed at me. I'm like, why are you laughing at me? You bought this. She was laughing. Oh at yeah. You. She goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, is that unbelievable? How is it uh, dispensed? Do you have to jerk the top of the bottle? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> it's good. And then, of course, uh, she explains right, that this right. is the only thing she bought in Abercrombie and Fitch yesterday, and mm. uh, they put it in one of those massive homoerotic bags on top of it. Yeah, the bags at Abercrombie but also it, but it was covered. Like a, it was a huge shopping bag for yeah. this tiny bottle of cologne. Well, y you are when you shop there and you leave the store, you become an advertisement, a walking billboard. For Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, I, the thought, bags, I thought you meant for the gay community. Well, that too. The bags are giant, and they are just covered with nude men. <laughs> and you're walking around like, I'm in the mall, I'm hetero, and I'm just carrying around a giant, it's pretty much a 20 by 20 inch photo of a naked man that I'm now going to carry around. Yeah, this is, this is, this is porn. Yeah, that's pretty much gay porn this that is, you bought yesterday. This is gay. Look at the, what am I? What what am I supposed to you do with this? You don't look at that bottle and go, "Oh yeah, I forgot my cologne today." You're spraying it on yourself. That's wonderful. You want some, Jimmy? <laughs> no, I have a bit from yesterday already on <laughs> my shirt. Oh, do you? Oh, do you really? Yeah. So can can I give me the box back so I can hide the nude man? Oh, there it is. <laughs> See, because the the box itself is innocent enough, but I. Uh, can't have this bottle displayed. My there's, God, man. There's a cologne called, um, and for some reason that looks gayer. Like, there's a cologne I used to use called Le Mal, And it's by, I think it's by a... Le Mal. Yes, I think it's by, I think it's by a, a Jean-Paul Gaultier. <laughs> Jean-Paul Gaultier. Gaultier. And it really, really is a man's torso up to the mid-thigh, but it's not naked. Oh, I know the one like you're talking it. about. And the woman's has, like, breasts. But mm -hmm. if you just know that this is identifying it as a man's. Right. And the woman's is identifying it as a woman's. That really does look gay. That's just homoerotic. Yes. It's, it's, it's a picture that good. you would want to look at if you were a gay gentleman. Yeah, I don't really understand why. Like, what are they going after with this marketing? Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're into the nude man, but uh, but it's not a it's not a chick store. There's a lot of there's a lot of guys, straight guys that that like their their stuff. So why do we have to deal with this? Uh, Hugh Junet, Hugh Junet, yeah, uh, is asking, uh, do you spritz the cologne on the small of your back? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm done. I'm done with this store. I can't do this anymore. Well, I mean, yeah, they finally crossed the line with me. I, I can't deal, you know. And enough with the naked, uh, naked guy on the on the the, the 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 underpants packaging. I still call them underpants. Underpants. All right. I just need underpants so I don't leak. Yeah, you go into. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a crap how I look at them. You all right. Just, you just need something made of bounty. <laughs> right. I don't. <laughs> I don't really care. Yeah, because then you, you then you start studying the boxes, going, "Yeah, I think I, I yeah, I think I'll look like this guy when I, I put them on." Because you do want uh, your underpants to have uh, the right uh, cut, I guess. You want the right style, so you can't just grab it off the rack and and know that you got the right one. Yeah, you got to look 
And meanwhile, you're looking at what amounts to a giant wall of um, gay porno. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the boxes are covered with just men, naked men. It's like, I, wanna buy, I don't want to buy Fruit of the Looms like I did when I was seven years old. I'd like, you know, some uh, a little better uh, undergarment. I, I, I really don't even care. No? No, as long as it's like wear. just, you know, fresh cotton and that's that's about it. I don't well, I, really care. I have Hanes on today. Th that's basically... Hanes, but that's, that's easy. But that's basically for the loan. What are you talking about? I know, that's Hanes, what I'm saying. Hanes is cheap. I'm not wearing uh, expensive undies today. I, I got Hanes too because that's the only one I could find that didn't have a nude man on the packaging. I have, I have Hugo Boss underwear. Yeah. Yeah, and then I got an, another brand with the naked men on the, on the box. Are they at least boxer briefs? Uh, I have some boxer briefs. I got some regular ones. I, I have an assortment now, All right. you know, for any occasion. I'm hanging around the house. If I need quick access to my cock, <laughs> <laughs> hope he's in today. <laughs> uh, who knows? You know, sometimes I have a rooster that needs tending to, and I need quick access to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh, Jesus. Let me say hi to Matt in Jersey. Matt, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Uh, I feel like a hypocrite because every time I, uh, I mean, I listen to you guys forever, and I just started working there because I need a little, little part-time job, but uh, and there's hot girls there, but I have to stay in the front of the store and listen to that stupid dance music, and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, you know, Paul R. Nelson, pulling your longer. All right, Matt, thank you. Uh, I... They, there's hot girls in Abercrombie and Fitch, really. You wouldn't know with really? all the naked men around the place. They're not catering. They're not. I don't shop there. They're not catering to guys mm. or I, straight guys. I go to the Gap. <laughs> Just go to the Gap. Trust me, the Gap will do the same thing. Oh, I know. It's, I, it's, I think this is some kind of weird trend that's going to like take off. It started yeah. with Abercrombie and Fitch, but I think other stores are going to get jealous, and you're going to see more and more nude men in clothing stores where guys shop. I yeah. don't understand. You know, it's a creepy store to have to go into. Forever 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been in there a couple of times. You just walk around and go like, I'm a creep. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Pat. What's up, Pat? Pat! Hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> Speak. Hello? Always throws him. Yeah, you're on the air, sir. Oh, okay, yeah, no, the voice threw me. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, I used to work there, and they actually discriminate towards uh, fat people, because for girls, anything that's above a size 8 that's out back, and you have to specially ask for it. Oh, really? So they embarrass the fat? As if they don't make you feel bad enough as you walk in uh, with these pictures of muscly men, if you're a little bit fat, and for guys, it's anything that's above a, a 38 waist, uh, you have to specially ask for it. Wait, wait, Pat, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Pat, what, what store do you work on? Uh, like, what uh, town or city? Uh, I'm from Boston. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. There's a little town called uh, Nashua, New Hampshire, right on the border. Yeah, of course. Oh, of course. Of course. That's where the duct tape comes from. And that's where the... Uh, tax, tax free, man. And, and the booby clubs, you know, right over the mm -hmm. border. I, you know, what do you think? We were born yesterday. Wait, tax... No, did, they are pretty good. Anthony, why'd you say duct Not tape? as good as Montreal. Oh, they make duct tape there. Really? Yeah. How would you know that? I used duct tape for a long time in my uh, sheet Sex metal life. work. Oh, yeah, right. it's my, <laughs> my abductions. Hey, little Jimmy. <laughs> hysterical. I'm here. Hey, Jimmy. Yes, sir. I just want to say, man, I'm a huge fan. And I love your stuff. Uh, thank you very much, man. I've, I've been listening for a long time. I think you guys are great. Uh, right. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate it. Uh, Thanks, guys. No, but what we get here in New York is Pat saying, you know, they have the pictures of the nude guys. Most mm -hmm. Abercrombie Fitch stores, as soon as you walk in, they have the pictures of the nude guys. But here in New York, we're lucky enough to have real nude guys. How uh, much of an outrage would there be if there was a store and there was pretty much scantily clad women that were just paid to be there, to stand there in, let's say, really revealing bikinis or something? You'd have this... Oh, this is an awful thing. It's degrading women. It's blah, 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 blah. But you could just parade these naked guys around a store, and well, uh, it's no problem. Well, uh, Hooters. No, oh, you mean like like? First of all, let me just let me uh, say <laughs> those outfits at Hooters, and I, you know, they have an, an advertiser. Then great, welcome. We love you, Hooters. Change your goddamn outfits on your girls. 
that it looks like 1970s softball team <laughs> right, right. Uh, clothes that these girls are wearing. ABA shorts, basically. They're horrid. What are they? They play for the San Diego Conquistadors? Yeah, and then they wear those. <laughs> that, that's they, really good for old school old basketball school. fans, I'll tell you right now. Anyway. They wear those thick stockings. Yeah. And uh, the shorts are, are not cut right. Just looks awful, you know. And they're they're attractive girls, you know. If they they were made uh, to wear something a little nicer, well, they'd sell more wings. If you want to see hot models, Hawaiian Tropic. Oh, that's always been. We're, uh, we're pretty much you know what every morning to ourselves because of the the advertising and the papers for Hawaiian Tropic here in New York City. Yeah, they got oh new girls in there like every God. day. Uh, they got a new, blonde new. and a, they got a blonde and a brunette that they rotate in the paper every other day. That yeah. These two girls are just ridiculous. Yeah, you rotate. <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> you know, all right, yeah, you got the nude guys in Abercrombie Fitch. Get get bring back the like the, the nude girls and then we'll call it even at least. At yeah. least we'll call it even. Even at uh maybe Fredericks or, or something or Oh you, yeah, okay. You know, have girls walk around in that store just dressed in the lingerie. Go with Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret. That's, That's a huge what I mean. store, Fredericks obviously. Like so closed. <laughs> so take the Abercrombie and Fitch logic and, and, and have girls as soon as you walk in the store just in tiny little uh you know, pieces of lingerie. Yeah, little boy shorts. There would and... be there would be a boycott outside that store immediately. Because all these disgusting housewives <laughs> would be so horrified as their husbands are just drooling looking at these girls. Right. So they would have to make a big stink about it. My uh, eyes front! Ugh. I um, I got an idea. Let's mm-hmm. get Big A. Big A. Topless. Oof. And Pat from Winaki. Topless. <laughs> right. Wow. Right. We're, this better go somewhere. And have, so far it sucks. <laughs> and have them walk around Abercrombie and Fitch <laughs> oh, until God. someone says you have to put your shirt on and then, they, then Big A... Could stammer's way. Buh, 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 they're naked. <laughs> <laughs> we should be able to t- t- take our clothes off. <laughs> um, really fast because now you reminded me of something else. I, uh, I I was bored on Sunday and I was doing a little movies on demand. And I'm like, ah, trading uh, places. I, I I mentioned this yesterday, or the day before. So I I popped that on. Oh, classic! And a huge smile came to my face. I'm watching the movie with my girl. We're just enjoying ourselves. We're in bed just watching a movie, mellowing out. And they had the uh, the booby shot. Of course. And I just started smiling. She goes, Jamie what? Lee Curtis? No. Before that, uh, uh, when Eddie Murphy throws a, a party in his new pad. And oh. all of a sudden, the girls decide they just have to be topless in the middle of this party. Right. And they're just dancing topless. <laughs> and I'm smiling. My girl looks at me like, why are you smiling? And I, I had to explain to her, this is where the age difference uh, becomes fun. I go, back in the day, every movie had a booby shot. And they yeah. took that out of movies. Like, and, and in this scene in Trading Places, there was no reason for the girls to be nude. No need. Ex- except to show really nice boobs yeah. in, in, in the middle of the movie. It's almost like, all right, we'll take a break from the movie to show you some boobs. Yeah, that's pretty much what they did. And they used to do it in every single movie. Yeah. And, and, and I had a smile on my face because it brought me right back. I'm like, ah, remember mm-hmm. the good old days? You would go to the movie theater and you got to see a little, just a little, little, little taste of porn. Uh, during your comedy. You watch any one of those like uh, R-rated uh, comedies from the eight, early 80s, mid-80s, they will all have the gratuitous yeah. booby shot. Can I tell you that when I used to, uh, I would say, like, I, I when I had, it was only HBO or, like, uh, the movie channel, and Stir Crazy had a strip club scene in it <laughs> where there was a girl's ass, and it was a certain, I can still, I can remember the song. And the, the angle her ass would be at would be the part that I had to be absolutely ready on because there was no pausing. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, the, the session had to be over at that moment. Right. So my father would be in the room, and I would always Ooh. put on MTV to get him out. I knew he would leave. <laughs> That's like father repellent it back was, then. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, chase him away yeah. with some MTV. He's trying to have a father-son moment, and I'm like, all right, just beat it. Beat it, <laughs> stupid. We get it. I love you. You love me. Night. Beat I, it I, so I, I can. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, and there it is in Trading Places, just nude to be nude. And remember Caddyshack, the pool scene? All of a sudden the girl oh, just yeah. has to take her top off. The girl's on some guy's shoulders, and she's just like topless. The scene, the scene uh, trust me, I'm not complaining at all, but the scene would have been just fine with the girl with the bikini on the guy's shoulders, no problem. Yeah. But all of a sudden she had to take her top off, because that's what you did in movies. Put back your in clothes the on, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Every movie had topless uh, women. And they took that away from us, too. Yeah. But they give us nude 
freaking men in Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know. When the hell did this happen? I don't know. <laughs> why they stop? <laughs> Best booby shot, fast time. Oh, talk about gratuitous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, booby man, uh, best booby shot ever. Fast time. Just saw it last night. Yeah, when what's her name? Phoebe Cates. Uh, when comes Phoebe out Cates of the pool. comes out of that pool and that water is misting over her. Yep. And she, uh, there is nothing that doesn't look good about that scene until, of course, uh, she starts kissing uh, Judge Judge yeah. Reinhold. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Dean in Queens. Uh, Dean, what's going on, guys? Hey, what's man. up, man? About uh, two summers ago, I was in there with uh, my niece and nephew, and uh, one of the managers had come up to me and asked me if I was uh, interested in working at Abercrombie & Fitch, and uh, I had told her that I really didn't like sales. You know, I tried sales before, and I didn't like it. And uh, she, wasn't, she, told, she told me she wasn't talking about that, that uh, the company was willing to pay me $50 a day for three days to uh, stand in the front without my shirt on for uh, five hours. <laughs> 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 did you do it? Uh, I, I did do it. I did it the first day. I got the fifty dollars, and I felt really awkward. So the second two days, I didn't. I didn't do it. Mm. Yeah, it's just it's just a weird, weird thing, man. I don't, I just don't get it. Yeah, That's I really uh, I really needed money. I was uh, trying to save up for my uh, Emperor's Club uh, account. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. <laughs> Let's say hi to Malik Asbury Park, a yeah, war zone at Asbury Park. What's up, Malik? Yeah, you know how we do. Hey, yo, listen, man. Back in the day, like, all the stores in the hood, like VIM, uh, Models, all spots like that, they were they were required to hire the prettiest girls that would come into the fill our applications because they knew that all the dudes that would hustle, like drug deals, they would come in and spend money because they see the pretty girls go, yo, we got to go spend money in there. Oh, really? It was, re it was required. Huh. Did not know that. Yeah, but I think it's pretty obvious that most uh, retail yeah. stores try to, you know, hire the pretty people. Uh, the huge, beautiful people. Like huge that. unit. Thanks, Malik. Huge unit checking in again. Oh, boy. Saying a video store said that Fast Times uh, videotapes back in the old days were ruined because they were paused for so long at that moment. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that, right when Phoebe Cates hey, unbuckles her, uh, her swim top there. Hey, this was before computers. You did what you can. Man. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know. Oh, hell yeah. And you know how great pause worked on videotapes. Right, oh, right. God. Horrible. I think I have to adjust my tracking. <laughs> I think my tracking needs adjustment. Stupid tracking. Tracking sucked. Absolutely. <laughs> Sean, North Carolina. <laughs> What's up? Uh, uh, you boys was talking about blatant displays of movies and movies. Uh, the best had to be airplane during the panic scene. Oh, yeah. Also, what, a girl's just topless on a plane? She runs across the shot yeah. in the aisle. But I think that was a parody of the fact that, you know, they just were fitting oh, in okay. boobs like that, which yeah. was pretty funny. There's a panic scene, uh, you're and right, you're everyone's right. panicking, and this topless girl gets right in front of the camera and just shakes in, in, in her boobs in front of the camera. That's it right there. That's how the nice shot. those boobs are. <laughs> it's the shot. Wow. <laughs> Uh, Porky's had some nice ones. Remember, Porky's had some very sexy. Uh, Porky's was complete, uh, just porn for its day. Yeah, yeah, with the uh, the famous peephole scene in the shower, where uh, the girls just had no clue about shaving or waxing or anything. <laughs> that was just like uh, it, it was like they were staring into a caveman's cave. <laughs> <laughs> Those girls were so hairy. I like to call it the old Mexican cave. <laughs> it was horrid. Yeah. Hey, why don't we take our first break? Uh, mm. Off to a good start. Let's not forget, uh, it is Whip Em Out Wednesday. Anthony, seeing lots and lots of WoW stickers. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on. What happened? They finally decided to start mailing out WoW stickers again? I hope so. How do you get WoW stickers? Does anyone know? Well, is you, there one? Uh, send a, oh, look, there's the shot. Oh, you're, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> that's old school chicks. Wow, look at that. That is <laughs> look just at a, that. That's a blankie. That one has a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Someone put a divot in her lap. No kidding. <laughs> you can hit a golf ball off that. 
and not hurt anything. No, that's that's oh uh wow, wow, wow. Yeah, this used to be the thing though, man. Every uh, movie was... just had uh, time to show off the girls for a few. I guess uh, that's seconds. why it, you know it, it's got a fond place in my heart a little bit because of the uh, you know the the age. I kind of remember turning on Cinema One Hundred, mm-hmm. where, where it was the only cable channel you had. And uh, they would play these softcore pornos, and all the girls looked like that. Yeah. I mean, they all just had no clue. The razor did not go above their legs or below their armpits. Yeah. And that was it. Looked like they uh, were wearing a sumo wrestler diaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> Yeah. If I want to hear this crap, I'll go to Abercrombie & Fitch and shop. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the, the latest thing. Oh, my. What? What'd I say? No, the, the Abercrombie and, and Fitch in the uh, suburbs is still yeah. relatively... It's like a dance club. It's Yeah. But na- they're now dancing at the one in uh, Manhattan. You go in. I went in because I was looking for something, and I have to talk to someone as they're dancing. I'm like, no, That's you just coming. It was Christmas shopping. Yeah. I was trying to get something... <laughs> I was trying to get some for my girl, and uh, this particular sweater I saw on one of the mannequins. God forbid they actually had the stuff that's on the mannequins, by the way, but that's another story for another day. And uh, and the, the girl's, like, dancing, and I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to find this, and you have to shout it out. You should have dry gulched her. The forearm shiver right to her temple. I should focus. But you got to shout guy. at these people they're as they're dancing, and you just want to know where the, the stuff is. <laughs> <laughs> you ever walk up to the poster of the German male models and lick the stomach area? <laughs> that really creeps out. Yeah, the you leave. The, I bought something. Uh, I'm embarrassed to say I yeah. bought something. I, you walk yes. out of there. I looked down at my bag. I noticed guys are looking at me at the mall like, <laughs> gay down. porno. You have the, gay porno. On the side of my bag. Carrying out. I'm the, like the Pied Piper for gay guys. If right. We're doing a conga line on the way out of the mall. Exactly. You got Harvey Milk phone. I'm talking about that too. And the, uh, <laughs> I'm Harvey Milk and I want to buy your underwear. <laughs> when you buy these uh, uh, underwear, unless you're buying Fruit of the Looms like you're, you're a kid, like I like buying good underwear, good quality underwear, but they come maybe two in a box. And the box has some friggin' male model yeah. only wearing the underwear with like a, an armadillo down there. Dude, and, would... and then you gotta, you gotta look. So you're searching for which underwear you want to buy, and you're perusing your gay Yeah, porn. you might as well be thumbing through yes. a blue boy. Right. I, it's, I was at no, Bloomingdale's. Not that there's anything right and, with that. And I went to the Calvin Klein <laughs> section for underwear. This just happened to me. And I, I was like, I, I, I can't do this. Yeah. I'm like, no, my underwear with the holes in them, they'll last another month or two. I don't feel like going through the whole process. And going up to the counter. I guess they want you to look at the... stack of gay men. I'll take this stack of gay men <laughs> pictures, please. Oh, I, are there underwear with them? Oh, you keep those. I'm just here for the gay men pictures. So I, right. I bring in a pair of my old ones. No, I, you, know, they get, you know, they get more skid marks than like the third turn of the Teledig. I go, can, can you match these? <laughs> You're so right. And they're like, what are those, Black and Deckers? Yeah. <laughs> If, you know, if you follow the logic, they want you to go up to the Calvin Klein section, look at all the boxes, and go, well, wow, those look good on that guy, so they must look good yeah. on me. They look good on me. I'll look What's great. The logic there? Yeah, I got the eight pack going and the pecs huh? like this. And then you walk out with the Abercrombie Fitch bag. And it's like, Giant bag of porno. <laughs> that's the most homo looking thing. I was dancing with a salesperson every 20 minutes, little Asian kid named Kevin. We had our shirts <laughs> off, we're doing jello shots in the men's room. <laughs> I mean, it's a wild place. Yeah, how come? Uh, how come when you uh, you know you're with some girl and you walk out of Forever 21, there's not just some hot looking little 21 right. year old on the bag? No exactly. kidding. Abercrombie and AIDS. They gotta change those bags. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's that, E Rock? What's wrong with you? No, Mike's pointing out that um, this place called Two Exist has really uh, homophobic ads. Oh, really? They have homophobic or homoerotic? Yeah, exactly. Homoerotic. homoerotic. Homophobic would be very like different. Said, yeah. He said the complete <laughs> opposite. Yeah. That would be like if I said, hey, Eric, good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I get... I'd, I'd show up at a homophobic store. That would be hilarious, <laughs> oh, wouldn't it? Picture of, uh, you, you know, you walk out with your bag and it's two Italian guys with a bat beating up some, <laughs> some guy at Jones Beach. <laughs> just standing on his throat. And just, he's all bloody and stuff. <laughs> that's going into my act. Thank you for making that mistake. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's, Not yeah. that I'm a homophobe, but... Well, if they're going to go the other way with the bags, Exactly. Right? You know, we talk about equality in this society, and everybody has to get represented except my point of view. Right. The hateful one. Right, that's Anthony? The one, that's the one I enjoy. Seriously. I, there's I nothing swear. funnier than something... 
Oh. He's old school. No, he's just a guy who still likes the smell of yeah. women's, you know, things. Exactly. That's all I'm you saying. You know, and we're not in the minority. I know that. That's the, where the, the majority, silent majority of guys that, that just think like that, but uh, yeah. I don't know. For some reason, they've been. I'll tell you the reason. The media. Have the media. Have you taken any meetings in L.A.? Oof. Can't uh. find a straight person in the room, right, Jimmy? <laughs> really? Seriously, whether it's a guy or a girl, it's uh, frightening. God it's a good thing I'm saying that as before I go out there and do it. <laughs> Are you going out there? Yeah. yeah uh, this lady, it's, it's nothing. I call it the left coast. <laughs> oh, you're silly. <laughs> Well, depends on which way you're standing. Yeah. I got a meeting with a weather channel out there. They're going to let me play the saxophone over the local eights. <laughs>